Well, Coach Bowden hired me at Florida State in 1985 as a young graduate assistant coach. He wanted me to help him coach the quarterbacks, and so I was more than happy to do that. And uh, unfortunately, a year later in 1986, one of our players named Pablo Lopez was shot and killed at a campus party. And uh, Coach Bowden called a team meeting the next day and uh, started to talk about Pablo. And uh, you could see the regret in his face that he didn't know where Pablo would spend eternity and he'd never really talked to him about that. And he said, you know, I don't, I don't know where Pablo was gonna be. Uh, I don't know where he was in his faith. So coach went on to basically uh, spread the gospel right there in that room and talk about the fact that God loves us and he created us and he wants us to live in heaven with him forever. But we got a problem and that standard for heaven is perfection. And so if we have any sin at all, we got no chance, but that's why Jesus came. That's why God gave us his son, Jesus, to pay that price of sin for us if we, if we choose, if we choose to accept that gift. And he said, man, you know, Pablo used to sit in that seat right there. Uh, he goes, you're 18 to 22 years old, and uh, you think you're going to live forever. Like Pablo probably thought he was going to live forever, and now he's gone. He said, if that was you last night, instead of Pablo, do you know where you'd spend eternity? Well, he's talking to the players, but I, you know, I'm that young coach in the back of the room, uh, listening to what he had to say, and and uh, he was the Holy Spirit was speaking to me when he said that. I came to his office the next day and knocked on the door, and he said, "Come on in, buddy," and uh, he calls you buddy when he forgets your name. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I came in there and said, "Coach, I know you're talking to the players about this eternal life, but." Uh, this young coach needs help. So I prayed to receive Christ in his office and uh, life changed dramatically after that. It was, uh, I, was I went from a very self-centered, selfish guy to a guy who loved Jesus and wanted to uh, love others and live a life that would please God. And uh, that, that became my new goal.